right, Shalom. Before I get started with this lesson, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakha Kudash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone and Shalom, Tata Akim, that are in this truth and sincerity. All right, and I, I just want to do this lesson going into how um, the Lord is going to hook us up. All right, and I got inspiration uh, from the elder, uh, elder uh, Chazat. All right, Elder uh, Mississippi. All right, I was watching, uh, and he's been saying that, and uh, uh, pretty much the last few videos, uh, he was going in, which he's been going in. He's been on fire, and uh, he really inspired me. Uh, but yeah, I was watching that this, and this really inspired this lesson. He he made a statement: the Lord's gonna hook us up. All right, and this is a real this this. This uh, live stream right here, th this actually is a faith booster when you watch it. The things that this elder, that the spirit had this had on this elder to say. All right. But with that being said, without further ado, uh, I'm going to get Luke chapter 12. And I'm going um, to read a few verses uh, out of this. I might get a couple other uh, precepts. But yeah, Lord willing, it be edifying. All right. The Lord's going to hook us up. Luke 12 and 22, it says, and he said unto his disciples, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life what ye shall eat, neither for the body what ye shall put on. So this is our Lord, Yahweh Shai speaking, all right, who the world ignorantly calls Christ. His true and proper name is Yahweh Shai. Okay, and the name of his Father, the Heavenly Father, is Yahweh. Okay? <laughs> It's like it, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Those are the names that we call on. Those are the names that we pray to. And those are the names by which we will be saved. Okay, according to the book of Acts. We will be saved according to those names. All right, uh, Proverbs, uh, uh, Proverbs 18 and 10. All right. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. But it says, take no thought. I'll read it again. It says, therefore I say unto Unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall put on. Us like it. Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, neither for the body, which ye, what ye shall put on. The life is more than meat, and the body is more than raiment. So the Lord's going to uh, have us, all right? The Lord's going to have our back in times of trouble. So we don't have to worry about things like, uh, like oh, shit, like during Jacob's trouble, uh, what what shoes am I gonna have on? Am I, are my feet gonna be cold? Or am, I, am I gonna be through? Like we really shouldn't even be worried about that. I mean, yeah, it's wise to to invest in some good boots. All right, some good um, you know, like Gore-Tex uh, boots. Um, what's another uh 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 damn? What's it? What's that other boot? Um, yeah, oh Ozark, some Ozark boots. All right, it's that's actually wise to invest in. I'm not saying like don't do that. Yeah, you should actually invest in some like some good boots, some good uh, gear. All right, but really, we shouldn't. Uh, that shouldn't like deter our faith. That shouldn't shake our faith. Like, damn, what am I gonna wear in that day? Like, am I even gonna be able to get dressed when all hell breaks loose? <laughs> like, am I gonna be at, at the at 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 the work? I mean, at the uh, at the job at the plantation. All right, so lucky I'm, I'm kind of slipping my words over. All right, <laughs> I'm a little tired. I ain't gonna lie, you know, burning that that late night oil. But yeah, we don't have to worry about things like that, things of the flesh, because the Lord's gonna have us in that day, man. He's not gonna leave the men that that, that were her heralding his coming, the ones that 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 were telling the whole world, Yahweh Bashim is about to uh, destroy this place. Yahweh Bashim is about to do great things. He's about to show his power in the earth. His name is about to be magnified. The Lord's not going to just forget about all those, those works that we've been doing. All right. And we have to have faith in that. We have to have faith that the Lord's not going to forget our labor. The scripture says that. All right. He's not unrighteous. I believe that's in. Um, uh, matter of fact, let me get it real quick. Uh, uh, let me see. Un. Righteous. I don't want to butcher it. Um, 
uh, yeah, Hebrew six, uh, Hebrew six and ten says, for the Most High Yahweh Bahashimi Shai is not unrighteous to forget your your labor. Salaki, it says, for the Most High Yahweh Bahashimi Shai is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. Cause this thing, this truth is a labor of love. All right, we don't do these videos just to do them. We do them first and foremost because it's the right thing to do. Secondly, we do them because it's really, it's therapeutic. Honestly, it's therapeutic, all right, for us and for, for the edification of the body of Yahweh Shai, the elect, okay, the elect of the nation of Israel. Because that's who this truth is really for at this point in time, all right? The Lord is only dealing, Yahweh Bashim al Shai is only dealing with the elect of the nation of Israel. He's not even dealing with the whole nation of Israel right now. All right? Just like uh, going back to the Exodus, the Lord, he did deliver the whole nation of Israel, but eventually he started picking off the wicked Israelites. That's why he made Israel go, go through the wilderness. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, for, uh, for 50 years, um, Salaki, if I'm wrong on that, I got to go do that history again. But if I'm not mistaken, he made Israel go through the wilderness for uh for fifty years, if I'm not mistaken, all right, or was it forty years? It's, it's either forty or fifty. Uh, you could correct me if I'm wrong on that in the comments. But the Lord, he he didn't even back then. He saved, he delivered the whole nation of Israel, but the whole nation of Israel didn't make it to the to the, the to the promised land. All right, it was just um, it was just um, it was Caleb. All right, it was uh. Uh, who, who else? Um, Caleb and Joshua, all right, and then that that, that younger uh, gener generation. So in these times, the Lord's gonna be, He's gonna do that on another level, all right. He's not even gonna deliver the whole nation of Israel. He's gonna destroy. That's why it says judgment shall begin at the house of Israel. He's gonna de deliver the elect, all right. So Salakia, um, let me read that again. For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your your work and labor of love which ye have showed toward His name, and that ye have ministered to the saints, and do minister. So, the the labor of love and the work, the body of work that that we've done through the Spirit and the power of Yahweh by Shem toward His name. Ultimately, we're doing this for His name's sake. All right. Okay, we're doing this for his name's sake because his name means he saves. Yahweh Shai. And he, hey, he's going to hook us up, man. He's going to, the scripture says, and I'm going to get to it, the Lord, he wants to save us. He wants to do that because that's his purpose. Yahweh Shai's purpose is to save us, to save the, the, the whole, uh, he's going to save the elect of the nation of Israel, but in doing that, he's going to save the whole nation ultimately. Okay, because the wicked Israelites that die on this side, that's just the Lord uh, pressing the reset button on them. They're gonna they're gonna come back in the reincarnation, all right. And that's reincarnation is biblical, okay. But that's another le lesson for another time. It says that ye have showed, which ye have showed toward His name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. So we're we're ministering to the saints, the elect of the nation of Israel, okay. The elect of the nation of Israel. So going back to uh, Luke 12, it says, Consider the ravens, for they, for they neither sow nor reap, which neither have storehouse nor barn, and the most high feed of them. How much more are ye better than the fowls? So we're on a higher level as Israelite men and the elect women, the women of the elect. We're on a higher level than, than, than the animals, than the ravens. And the Lord makes sure that they eat. Okay, the 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 birds, the the fowls, all right, the the different animals on the earth, that they they're not worried about uh, starving, all right, that they're not worried about going hungry, because the, the they 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 know where to get their food. That the Lord, uh, it says that in Psalms one hundred four, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think that's Psalms one hundred four, where it says the uh, the young lions roar after the prey and uh, seek their meat from from Yahweh. Because the Lord is really the one who feeds the animals. All right. Uh, verse 25, it says, And which of you taking thought can add 
to his stature, one cubit. That's spiritual power. None of us can do that at this point in time, but the Lord will unlock that ability for us to, to do that. Okay, uh, it says in uh, John uh, 14, and I believe the 12th, chapter, uh, the 12th verse, we're going to do greater works than Yahweh Shai. It says, If ye then be not able to do that thing which is least, why take ye thought for the rest? So we can't even do the, the, the least thing. With spiritual powers, making yourself taller, that's, that's something that's so minute. That's something that's so small compared to all the other things you could do with spiritual power. Making yourself taller, that's nothing. All right? Flying is on a higher level than making yourself taller. All right? F fucking flying uh, up like Superman, flying through the clouds, all right, to the upper atmosphere, that's on a higher level than making yourself taller or shorter with spiritual power. But if we can't, as he said, if you can't even do the least thing, why take you thought for the rest? The Lord's going to take care of us, man. He's going to hook us up. Verse 27, it says, Consider the lilies, how they grow. They toil not. They spin not. And yet I say unto you that Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Okay? And Solomon was Yahweh Shai. All right? It says, If then the Most High so clothed the grass... Which is today in the field and tomorrow is cast into the oven. How much more will he clothe you, O ye of little faith? So this thing is about faith. We have to believe that the Lord, like I read in uh, Hebrews uh, 6 and 10. We have to believe that the Lord is not unrighteous to forget our labor all right, and our work toward his name. We have to have faith. We have to believe that. I have to believe that. Okay? Speaking for myself, that's why I said we. All right, we can't have little faith in these times that we're coming in, okay? Because this thing is based upon faith. This whole truth is based upon belief and based upon faith, all right? Contrary to what other uh, uh, wicked Israelites would have you believe, this thing is purely based upon faith, okay? It's not based upon, oh, I could trace my genealogy or, oh, I, I can keep all the laws. That's not possible. We, we can't keep all the laws, all right? L let's just be real. We can't keep all the laws in our captivity, and especially not in these bodies. Even if we were in our own land, and even if we were completely sovereign, in these bodies, we can't keep the laws 100%. All right, let, let, let's just grow up for a minute here, okay? But Rita Nana says, uh, verse 29, And seek, seek not ye what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, neither be ye of, a, of doubtful mind. For all these things do the nations of the world seek after, and your father knoweth that ye have need of these things. So just the the, the other nations, the, these damn uh, these heathens, that they they um uh they get provided for. All right, these other nations they be eating. All right, these other nations that that they that they ain't ha they don't have to really worry about those things. So how much more us, the the sons of of, of the power, all right, Yasharallah. Okay, verse 31. But rather seek ye the kingdom of the Most High, and all of these things shall be added unto you. So all we have to do is just continue to, to put, put in that labor toward his name. Continue to, to minister unto the saints. Which ministering, that's, that's a, um, uh, to minister, that, that's to serve. All right? right now, we're really servants. Okay, we're on profitable service. We're doing that which, we, which the Lord commanded us. We're on profitable servants, so we're in a, a position of servitude right now, all right? We're in a low, humble uh, position right now, but the Lord is pleased with that. The Lord likes, the Lord, uh, the Lord, uh, he deals with the humble and the meek, all right? The scripture says the meek shall inherit the earth. Yahweh Shai said that, all right? That, that's in the scriptures uh, multiple times, the meek inherit, the, the meek shall inherit the earth. So we really don't have nothing to worry about. We just have to believe that he is, all right? He's a rewarder of them that, that diligently seek him. We have to believe that. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick, okay? And I'm going to end it off on uh, in uh, Luke, Luke 12. Uh, let me see. Uh, Hebrews 11. Get straight to the point. 
And Hebrews 11 is going in, into faith, all right? That, that's literally where you get the definition of what faith is in Hebrews 11, all right? And if you're saying that the Hebrews, the book of Hebrews isn't the word of the Most High, the Lord's going to, the, the Lord's going to destroy you straight up, all right? You're taken away from, from the word. So the Lord's going, going to take away your, your, your name out of the book of life, all right? This is Hebrews 11 and 6. It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, must believe that he is. That's what Yahweh means. Yah means he. Hawah meaning is or to be. He to be. He exists. It says, must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So we just have to have that belief. Going into the times of trouble, we have to remember that. Speaking for myself, Lord willing, and that's why we have to pray. We have to pray that the Lord gives us the spirit to remember that. That the Lord gives us the spirit to, to endure through those hard times that we're about to come into. Because at the end of the tunnel is light, man. So even though we're about to enter into some, to some dark times, the Lord's going, he's going, uh, um, the Lord's going to hook us up, all right? Like I said, that's, that's why I'm uh, entitled this lesson, Lord willing. Something along those lines. All right. Uh, where was I at? Verse uh, 31, it says, But rather seek ye the kingdom of the Most High, and all these things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. So we don't have to fear, man. <laughs> this is us. Yahweh Shah was speaking to us in these times. We don't have to fear. We don't have to be afraid of these, these damn devils, man. All right? The so-called white man, the Edomites, the biblical uh, Edomites. We don't have to be uh, afraid of these damn devils. They're the ones who, who are supposed to be afraid, man. They're in the hot seat. We're not in the hot seat, okay? Our enemies, they're the ones who, who should fear. We shouldn't uh, be, be in the spirit of fear, man, because we're doing the right thing. And how about Shemel Shai Ratzes out, we continue to do the right thing, okay, until we get beamed up into a chariot, all right, a so-called UFO. That's our, that, and that's how we're going to be de delivered, man. Matthew, uh, the 24th chapter, and I believe the, around the, the, the 24th verse, the Lord's going to gather together the elect from the four uh, winds, man, from one end of the heaven even to the other. That's how we're going to get out of here. So we don't have nothing to fear. It's the Lord's good pleasure to give us the kingdom. That means the Lord wants to give us the kingdom. Yahweh Shai wants to save us. Yahweh wants to give us the kingdoms. Yahweh Shai wants to put those crowns on our head, man. And we have to believe that. Okay? So, yeah, that's pretty much the point. I just want to, uh, Lord willing, this was a faith booster. I just want to uh, throw that out there through the spirit. Lord willing, it was edifying to the elect. want to end up by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rechakudash. Double honors to the elder apostles of the Great Millstone and Shalom to the elect.